Alright. So, how are you today? Me? I'm okay. Okay, maybe I'm not okay. But I always say I'm okay. That's, that's what people do. Someone goes to you. How you doing? Doing fine. Doing great. I'm okay. No one, that, no one ever uh, really talks about how they actually feel. Maybe that's just conditioning, but honestly, when you ask somebody, you don't really care. You're just being polite. So what's that mean? looking at me, but do you really see me? You're seeing my face. And one thing they say about people is, you never know your own face unless you're looking in a mirror. When you talk to people, you don't think about what your face is. You don't really think of what persona other people perceive you as, aside from the one that you knowingly project onto other people. So do you really know who you are? If you're the subject of other people's interpretive reality, their subjective view of who you are, are you who you think you are, or are you what other people make you to be by what they think you are? The true nature is, is we exist in a society, and by being in a society, your interaction with it is solely dependent on how it interacts with you. So, who decides who you are? You or everyone else? You know, sometimes I wonder, when I sit here and I think about things over and over and over again, does it accomplish anything? And in some ways, I think I really am getting somewhere. That I truly am understanding something. And then, a moment later, it's gone. So, why do we keep doing the same thing over and over again? Because it's all we know how to do. They say there is no such thing as a new idea. We just continually copy things from the past. We will come to the same inevitable conclusions over and over again because we fail to learn from our past. But the truth is, is we don't want to learn. We want to be comfortable. We want to be secure. We want other people to tell us what to do. Move. They say there are two kinds of people. There are leaders and there are followers. And that's not really true, because how are you going to lead anyone if you don't know where to go? So, in a sense, you're, you're, you're a follower, too. You're following what you believe to be true, or what you've been taught to be true, or what, you know, whatever you have ingrained in yourself is the best choice to make. And that in itself can be rooted back to your childhood, school, experiences, whatever you want to call it. And ultimately, the people that are making a new path, a, a new way to go, the revolution, whatever you want to call it, are the rebels, the recluses, the ones who don't care anyone's following. And they don't realize they're leading until it's too late. And now they're stuck inside this structure that they've made for themselves when the whole idea of them rebelling was to remove themselves from structure, remove themselves from these controls and shackles of our society that we label ourselves with. And so ultimately, they're following themselves. So in a sense, we're all followers. And there's really no choice in that matter. That's, that's what we do. Okay, so if we're all followers, there's 
got to be an ultimate destination that we're all trying to get to. There's, there's got to be some path that's being given out by someone somewhere. And in this, I would say, is where religion comes about. Faith. You know, have faith. Take a leap of faith. Um, believing in something more than yourself. That there has to be a plan. Because the idea of there not being a plan is too frightening, too chaotic. We try to make order and sense out of things in our lives. And if there is no order or sense, we feel lost. And no one wants to feel lost. Because when you feel lost, you're alone, you're scared, and all of your actions, everything you've done, is pointless. So, do you really want everything that you've done to be pointless? So, ultimately, there is something. We can all agree that there's something. Whether you want to call it God, Allah, the All, Buddha, Nirvana, any of these things. There's something. And everyone can agree on that. And I know there are those out there, you know, there is no God, this is what there is, but if this is what there is, then we're just a bunch of followers spinning around on a rock of mud in some far off corner of our galaxy on the outstretches of the universe, which is just going to be a flash, a blink of an eye in the whole grand scheme of things in the universe. So it really has no point at all. And I guess that's where anarchy comes about. And I guess you can call yourself an anarchist. But then, in itself, you are following another path. So, we're still all followers. And you can either choose to follow a path, or you can just sit there and rot.